Hey everyone, my name is Nicholas. I'm 17. I've been attending MCC for many years now, and uh, I got a verse to encourage you all today. So the verse I have is Psalms 27, 13 to 14. I remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. So about like two years ago, I was talking with one of my friends, and he's like a pretty hardcore atheist. So we were just talking about kind of how like I was a Christian, and then he brought up this question where he said, how do I know if the Bible is real? It could have been written by just a random person and discovered and then, or a fake book for people to believe in. It could have been written by anyone. So when he asked this question at first, I was like kind of taken back. And at first glance, it may seem like he's just nitpicking Christianity. But then when you really think about it, a lot of our religion is based off the discovery of the Bible. So if the Bible is fake, then what does that mean for us? So because I kind of had to like respond pretty quickly to him, it actually made me think of it. It wasn't just like, oh, I have a doubt that just popped into my head and now I just brush it off. I actually had to think about it and respond. So it really made me think about how like if the Bible wasn't real, what difference would that make? And I've pretty much come to the conclusion that if it is real, then all of this is for something. All of us here today, uh, all of the volunteers coming here on Sunday, even like the whole worship team, everything is for a reason. If the Bible is real. But if it isn't real, we also don't even lose anything. Spending our time here doesn't really mean anything or bad because we're making connections with people, we're talking to new people we wouldn't have met before, and basically doing all of this means something no matter what. And it's just something really important to think about whenever you're kind of doubting. So, yeah, going back to that story, I don't even remember exactly what I said to him, but it really just kind of put that in my head that, like, even if this wasn't real, it doesn't really matter because we're still doing good things. We're not doing bad things. And this verse is kind of that reminder that everything we're doing here is for something. We just need to wait for the Lord. So, yeah, i just like to leave that verse with you guys as an encouragement uh, to just wait for the Lord and remember that even if you get, like, these doubts, just think back to this verse and remember that this is all for something. So I'm just going to repeat the verse again. I remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and take heart, and wait for the Lord. And yeah.